everyone, welcome back to our online class altogether. So today is Monday, September 6, 2021. And today, yeah, it is the first day of the week, right? So teacher, hope you all are ready for our online class once again. And how was your weekend so far, everyone? Did you go anywhere? Now it is safe to stay at home, right? Okay, stay home, stay safe, right? So today, yes, yeah, so let us, um, you know, continue our um, lesson all together. So in the first session, we are going to continue our hangout lesson as, um, you know, usual that you know already, um, according to our schedule. Yeah, so um, last time we had already moved to unit two, which is just for fun. And we also uh, talk a lot about the uh, model warp scan, right, everyone? So now before we start our lesson, today let's recap what we actually learned in the previous session um, do you still remember what did we learn so far everyone yes of course we learned about model of can and yeah we already learned um, the usage of can all right and use can in order to talk about the ability something that you can do in the present for example I can speak Chinese for example so can here um, be used in order to show about the ability something that we can do okay everyone yeah so uh, we learned about the positive form and the negative form of can right you can look at the example here that I wrote on like I can dance see so we have subject we have um, can which is the um, modal verbs all right and then we have verb and the verb here need to be verb um, by some of the infinitive that you cannot change the verb even though you use it he she it like this one she can play football you see so when we use can and play here you don't need to add s even though you use with subject she he or it yeah we have um, the affirmative form and if you have a look at the uh, negative form we have subject plus can plus not plus verb as well of the infinitive and then we have object right and another one he can't speak Chinese Chinese. So yeah, you know, when we say can, it's mean mun ai, right? Something that you cannot do when we use can, right? We, when we add not, right? So it's opposite. It's negative, all right? It's have the negative meaning. And yes, that's what we actually focused last time. And the teacher believe you still remember what we actually learned. And if you have any question, you can always ask me for more clarification. Okay, everyone? Yes, so that's it about our warm up. And today lesson, we are going to um, finish. We are going to continue our lesson with scan once again, but it is in the question form. So you know already how you can form can in positive and negative. Today we are going to have a look at the question form of can. So yes, um, you can look at my whiteboard everyone. So for can, if you know the positive form and negative form already, so it, in the question form it's not complicated, okay? You just put can in front of the subject and then you have um, verb all right verb best form you will have can and then we have plus subject and then we have verb best form of the infinitive and question mark because it is in the question form right you want to ask question so yeah when do we use can in the, in the question form we use can in question form when you want to ask someone question about their ability like can you sing a song can you speak Chinese, everyone? So I want to ask you, I want to ask about your ability, something that you can do, right? So here, can you dance? You see, so I have sub, I have can here in front of the subject and then have you, right? And I have verb, okay, best form of the infinitive, right? So can you dance? And yeah, when we talk about um, the answer, I mean, how could you respond back when someone asks you by using the model can? So it's very easy. It's like simple person that you just do or that's like, do you speak English? And yes, I do. No, I don't. Well, when we use can, the model verb in order to ask question. If you respond yes, you use yes, I can. All right, you see? Yes, I can. No, I cannot. Or no, I can't. All right. So yeah, here, cannot cannot right it's equal it's like uh it is the same like can't all right so it's can here is the short form that, that comes from cannot okay everyone do you understand so yes i can no i cannot or no i can't all right and we have another one can she play the guitar you see play here without s like i mentioned when you use can in the sentence no s for the verb you need to remember that okay, so can she play the guitar okay so yes Yes, very good. Yes, she can, right? Yeah, she can. And no, very good. No, she cannot or no, she can't. All right. Okay, very good, everyone. Mm -hmm. Like this, you see? So yeah, yes, she can. No, she can't. Okay. So yeah, when you ask someone like, 
um, can they speak a okay so can they swim like yes they can no they can't and you can change the French subjects if you want yeah, so that's it about um, can in question form. It's very simple. So we have can plus subject plus verb plus form, and then we have question mark. All right, for the question form of can, and when you respond back, when they ask you, uh, you know, the question, but then by using can, you can respond by yes, I can, no, I cannot, yes, she can, no, she cannot, or yes, she can, and no, she can't, or yes, he can, no, he can't, yes, they can, no, they can. You see, so it's how you can respond back when someone asks you by using the model of can mm -hmm. so yeah that's it for our um, first session of today's class everyone so today we have a quick warm-up about can and then we move to the question form of can and it is also the end of um, you know model verb can of, of this lesson and teacher hope you can learn something from that and try to practice okay these sentences okay so try to use can to form uh, a sentence okay and can be affirmative negative and question Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone. So thank you so much for your paying attention and please enjoy your first break and see you once again in the second session. In the second session, we are going to continue our listening practice all together. Alright, so now, bye-bye.